Hey guys, Dora here, and today I'm doing a collective book haul. This is my last book haul. I've bought so many books. I've tried doing monthly book hauls, but that doesn't pan out as well because I only buy one or two books a month now. So since my holiday book haul, I have bought... I think maybe 19, 20 books altogether. Now I won't be going into an in-depth synopsis for any of these books because mostly I have a whole bunch and some of them are really popular so I'm pretty sure people have an idea what they are about. The first book I bought is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I've been dying to read this book. I've heard a whole bunch of great things about it. I am currently on page 82 and so far, it's been, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say too much because this is a book haul, not a review. But so many people have recommended to me and I absolutely adored Carval. So I decided to give The Night Circus a chance. The next book I have here is The Bone Witch by Rin Shupeko. I think that's how it is. Is it Shupeko or Chapeko? Oh, I am so sorry if I butchered it. I am not going to lie. This was mostly a cover buy. I absolutely adore the cover. It is so beautiful. Purple and gold. The color scheme is absolutely beautiful. But after I bought it, when I got home, I read the synopsis and it was really interesting. It's about a girl named T who is a witch, but her power is necromancy. So she is called the Bone Witch. And Bone Witches are ostracized and they are feared in this kingdom that she lives in. So... Yeah, I can't wait to read this. The next book I have is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I absolutely love this book. I haven't finished it. I stopped reading it at page 72 because life happened and I was working at the time I started reading it. So I didn't have the time to sit down and read it. This book was inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and the main character is Star and she witnesses the death of her best friend, in the hands of a white cop. I've heard nothing but great things about this book. It was on the New York Times bestseller list for like two months in a row, I believe. So I can't wait to finish reading this gem. These next few books I bought in a box set. So I'm going to show them all at once. And they are the Luna Chronicle novels by Marissa Meyer. There's Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Fairest, and Winter. So far I've read Scarlet and Cinder. I've been dying to finish the series, but I've always put them off because I don't want to jump into another series after reading another series. Like, I just finished Aqua War. I don't want to jump into another series. I just want to keep reliving Sarah J. Moss's books for a little while longer before I start reading another. If you don't know what the Lunar Chronicles are, they are a retelling of all of our favorite Disney princesses, like Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, and I believe Winter is about Snow White because of the apple. I've been dying to finish these series. I need to finish them and they are on my TBR. I will finish them this year though. The next book I'm going to haul is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I read Illuminae last year and I absolutely loved it. I loved the way it was written. The format in which it's written is mostly of witnesses accounts, uh, case files and all that sort of stuff and I thought it was so unique. I absolutely loved it. I also love the audiobook for these. I can't read these books without the audiobook. When I read Illuminae, I was reading Illuminae with the book open while hearing the audiobook because the audiobook is full cast and it's absolutely amazing. I do have the audiobook for Gemini. I just don't have the time to sit down and listen to it non-stop. The man is non-stop. Gentlemen of the jury, I'm curious, bear with me. Are you aware that we're making history? But I have made it my mission to read Gemini this year. I'm pretty sure I'll read it this year, maybe not anytime soon in the next few weeks, but I will finish it this year. This next book, I got it in my Owl Crate box and I'll leave the video of me unboxing my Owl Crate down in the description box below or somewhere in this video. And the book is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Now, I haven't, again, read this book yet. I am trying to, it's really short. It's a uh, probably going to be a one day read so I really want to just have a day where I'm in my reading chair with a large cup of coffee. Actually I have given up caffeine so with a large cup 
of water. I'm not a tea person, so that's why I didn't say tea. I have heard mixed reviews on this book. A lot of people who got the Owl Crate have said that they didn't like it. Some of them DNF'd it and some of them say that they loved it. So like I said, very, very mixed reviews. So I can't wait to form my own opinion because that's what this is all about. Forming my own opinion about books who people say they hate. These next two books I actually bought in a box set because the third one came out like that same day I bought the box set. So the books I bought in the box set were The Red Queen and A Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. And the book that had recently come out is King's Cage, again, also by Victoria Aveyard. I've read Glass Sword and I've read The Red Queen. I absolutely loved Red Queen. I thought it was super good. This had a whole bunch of OMG moments and a really, really big OMG moment at the end, which left me hooked. And that's why I picked up The Glass Sword. Now, The Glass Sword wasn't as good as The Red Queen. It was a bit slow and somewhat a little bit eh. but the ending made up for it because I absolutely loved how it ended which in turn made me buy The King's Cage. I still have not gotten around to reading this book. I actually want to reread the first two books before I dive into this book because I have no idea what happens anymore. I've actually been really good at staying off social media when a new book comes out that I really want to read so I haven't heard much about this because I stayed off of it when it first came out so I have not been spoiled for anything so I'm super excited to dive into this. Now this next book I'm going to show you is actually a book that I bought three different copies of the same book because when you're in booktube and you have the money for it you do what you want with your money and that's what I did. And the book I'm talking about is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. This is the third book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. But of course the series is not ending with these characters. We are getting three more books but with different characters in the same world. Now this is the Target Edition which comes with a book plate and a letter from Sarah J Moss. And when you pre-ordered this off of Target, you got the map. So that's what happened here. I got the map when I pre-ordered the Target edition. The next copy I bought is the normal copy, but this is no normal copy for me. Sarah J Moss teamed up with Good Choice Reading to do a virtual signing so people who could not attend her events could actually get a signed copy from her. I immediately joined the bandwagon and I thought to myself, I have the money, I want a Sarah J Moss signed book, so I'm going to get it. And I got it. Look at that. It is personalized to me. I absolutely adored it. My prized possession. Even when I started reading this book, I actually read the Target edition or I switched off to the Kindle edition, which is the third copy of this book that I bought because not only did I buy the Good Choice Reading one and the Target edition, I also bought the Kindle. I lost count. I have no idea how many books I have hauled right now. The next ebook that I hauled is a copy of Lady Midnight. This was during the time where all my books were in storage and I had the urge to read a Cassandra Clare book because at the time the only book I had not read was Lady Midnight. So I decided to get it but in the end I ended up not finishing it, not reading it because that's when I got The Hate You Give which I started reading but again I didn't finish. You know this book haul is gonna be me saying I bought this book. I started reading it but I didn't finish it. So that seems to be the theme right now. The next ebook I bought was A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. This book was okay. I did read it. <laughs> You're thinking, Dora, you actually finished this one. Well, yeah, I did finish it because it was really short and I finished reading it at night because I would take an hour or two reading it and that's how that happened. My book review for A Madness So Discreet comes out on Friday. So when that does happen, I'll put the link down in the description box below. But just know that that book review is coming and that is Friday's video. The next ebook I got was Codename Verity. And this is a book I've been dying to read since the dawn of time, since the dinosaurs went extinct. I love reading books that deal with World War II. I've read The Book Thief, I've read Rudis Apetti's Between Shades of Grey and Salt to the Sea, which were absolutely gorgeous books. All of them were gorgeous World War II books. I believe Codename Verity is about a pilot 
named Verity, who is not her real name. She's like an undercover spy or something or other. I can't wait to read it. I don't even know what it's about. I just saw that it was from World War II and I had to have it. The next ebook I got was Vanish by S.E. Green. If you don't know who S.E. Green is, she's one of my absolutely favorite authors. She wrote Killer Instinct, which is one of my all-time faves. I keep saying it every single time. Killer Instinct is really great, but right now we're talking about Vanished. <laughs> I have not yet read Vanish. I bought it, I believe, a few months ago. I just have never gotten around to reading it. I think I got to like maybe two, three percent into the book and then I just stopped reading it. But like I said, this year is going to be the year where I finish reading a whole lot of books. This next book is also by Essie Green, but she wrote it as her real name, I believe, Shannon Greenland. Shannon Greenland is actually her contemporary new adult name that she uses when she writes and Essie Green is her young adult slash uh, mystery slash scary books that she writes. But either way, this book I did read. So be proud of me for that. I absolutely loved Shadow of a Girl. I gave it five stars on Goodreads. On my own personal skill, I gave it a 97%. Like I said, really good book. I love Shannon, which is also S.E. Green. She, she, her writing is beautifully, I, I love her. And I just found out that her new book, The Ultimate Sacrifice, published with of Tomes publishing I believe but that book comes out on my birthday and I'm absolutely excited for that. The last ebook I bought was Stolen Songbird by Danielle L. Jensen. I have no idea what this book is about. I am not even going to lie to you guys but I've seen this book on Twitter and my Facebook page. It's been recommended to me by Amazon, by Barnes and Noble that I just gave up and I got it. So Let's see how that goes. It is a series, but I'm not sure what kind of series it is. I think it is fantasy, maybe. I'm not sure. All right, you guys. If you stuck with me this long, this is the last book. This is the last, last book that I have gotten. And that is the new release, a very, very new release. That's the sequel to Lady Midnight, and that is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. I have not read Lord of Shadows because I have not read Lady Midnight, so that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Especially now, since I decided to reread all the Infernal Devices series and all the Mortal Instruments series books, because I really wanna be immersed into the Shadowhunter world, and I really, really wanna know what's really going on and not be like, huh, what are they talking about? Is this like something that's supposed to be in the Infernal Devices series or in the Mortal Instruments series? Like, what, what kind of reference is that? I wanna know what the reference is. The referencing to comes from which reference of what book. So yes, this is the last book I got and as you can tell I got the exclusive Barnes & Noble edition which comes with a deleted scene. I absolutely love the dust jacket. It comes with these runes and I believe these are new runes that Clary has um, invented. I read that much in Lady Midnight um, because they have the birth control slash Sanger rune which if runes were real I'd like to uh, I'd like to use that one. That'd be a very helpful one. Whew. That was so many books and I'm not going to try and pick them up mostly because I did try for the thumbnail but I got wounded. Oh, that was my shoulder. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's like at a weird angle. There it is. You can tell. So yeah, like I said, not going to happen. That is all I have for you guys today. Please leave down in the comments below if you read any of the books I hauled today and what are your thoughts on it. And as usual, no spoilers, please. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my face. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!